Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a chevron letter in Silhouette Studio. First I'm going to do the file and open and bring in my chevron design. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my trace and trace the chevron. And turn off the high pass filter so it gets it all and don't have all the little dots in it. And trace. Now we can get our image and go ahead and delete it. And I'm just going to give it a little color so it's easy to see on the screen. Okay. Now I'm going to go get our text tool. And I'm going to do the letter H. So I'm going to make a capital H. And I want to use a wide font. So I'll probably do impact. Make it bigger. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do an offset. So I'm going to right click and click on offset and make just an offset just a little bit. So that looks pretty good. And I'm going to take the inside letter that I typed and this is the offset that we just made. So we'll go ahead and make it, let's just go make it black for now. We'll make this a color, the letter that we type so it's easy to see. Okay. I'm going to right click and bring the chevron to the front. This way I can kind of see our our chevron, how it's going to look on the letter. Try to make it look lined up and give us a lot of design. So I'm going to scrunch it up a little bit. Let's bring it down a little. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick both the chevron and the H that we typed. And I'm going to go to the modify. And I'm going to do crop. Now it's made our H into all the chevron. So while it's got all the lines selected, I'm going to just right click and make it a compound path. So now I'm going to bring this over to our offset that we had made and line it up how we want it. So now I'm going to go ahead and select both pieces. And make a compound path. So now you have a Chevron H. But we're going to go ahead and go one step farther so we can get the inside here a chevron design too. So I'm going to get the square tool. Just make a square a little bit bigger than the H. We'll give it some color so you can see it on the screen. Okay. I'm going to make a copy of this one. I'm going to do copy and paste. Just move that one aside. Now I'm going to come in and pick both the H and the square and go to the modify window again. And this time I'm going to do subtract. 
<clears throat> so now it's took the H that we had put on here and subtracted. So I'm going to just drag away the border and delete it. Now come back and pick all your pieces and right click and make this a compound path. I'm going to pick a darker color so it's a little easier to see here. Okay, by doing what we just did, it's took and subtracted the white areas. So it's brought them through the square. So now we can just bring this over and have put it in our H and just line it up. And now we would have our chevron H in two colors that we could separate and cut in whatever color vinyl we want and then layer them together for a t-shirt or a decal. Hope, hope this helps you and if you have any questions let me know. Thanks for watching.